Welcome to the Diesel Dad episode eight. In today's episode, we're talking about the number one thing that is holding you back from the transformation that you desire. That's going from soft, slow, and sluggish to strong, lean, and athletic without sacrificing family, fatherhood, or fitness by implementing the 3M system, which is to optimize your metabolism, learn macronutrients, and instill strong nutrition principles into your diet, and build muscle. And those three things are the key to transformation. Whether you need to lose between 10 and 20 pounds, 20 and 30, we have built the entire Diesel Dad system to optimize those three M's, metabolism, macronutrients, and muscle, so that you can build a strong, lean, and athletic body you are proud of without sacrificing family, fatherhood, or fitness. Now, by the time you've probably seen this video and come to me, you've tried many diets. And there's always a thing that doesn't work with them. And the reason you have a hard time committing to the next step of your transformation journey comes down to one thing, fear. That fear has little to do with wanting to learn about your metabolism. Of course you wanna learn about your metabolism and learn how to optimize it. It has little to do with macronutrients. In fact, you probably already have a decent understanding of what protein is, what carbohydrates do, and what fat does. And when it comes to muscle, of course you want to build muscle. Everybody wants to have a strong muscular frame that they're proud of. They love taking their shirt off at the beach in the summer. They love going to the pool, not feeling self-conscious while they're at the pool. You see, the biggest thing that's holding you back is fear. The fear of failure. Because those things have not worked and been unsustainable over a long period of time, you realize that there's a gap between where you are, where you want to be, and how to bridge that gap. That fear of failure is something that is giant handcuffs in life. We're, because we've practiced failing so many times, we begin to identify with failure. You begin to think that there's something broken about you. You see, you actually know how to be in shape. You're watching this video because there's a good chance you already have been in great shape at one point in time in your life. Depending upon when you were the most dedicated to fitness, you learned how to lift weights. You probably had a coach. You probably followed some sort of nutrition program. And what happened was it all worked. We're all busy dads now. That means that at some point in time, we were in great shape. We held a lot of confidence in ourselves, enough confidence to walk up to that girl, say hello, give her a high five and ask her out on a date one day. And that girl that you met that day became your wife. And you guys decided to have an entire life together and you became husband and wife, you became mom and dad. And then all of a sudden time started to shrink Everything that was a priority in your life at the beginning, which was probably fitness, friends, then family, got flipped around. Now all of a sudden, the most important thing was dad, then husband, then family and business, and then at the very bottom, all of your personal goals happened. And instead of realizing that this is the new framework for life, you had never thought about what fitness and nutrition looked like when you have less time, less energy, and an absurd amount of commitments basically built around everyone else except yourself. All of your energy is going out, very little of it's coming in, you're not sleeping as well, you're not eating as well, you don't train as much, you have less time, you have less energy. How do we do this? It's a big problem. And what most people have done is try to isolate individual variables in which they find there's very little long-term sustainable success in. Like, maybe you've tried the keto thing. That's awesome, right? And what happens with all of these diets, right? It could be keto, it could be paleo, it could be Atkins, it could be Weight Watchers, it could be carnivore. All of these things are awesome at first. In fact, you get so motivated to do them that you crush it. You probably drop 10 pounds in like the first two weeks and you feel amazing about it. You feel so good that you're just gonna be carnivore for life. You're just only gonna eat T-bone steaks. You're only going to be crushing pork chops. You're just gonna smash steak and, and not even potatoes. You're just gonna smash steak every single meal 
every single day of your life. But what happens in month six when reality kicks in? When you start to recognize that all of these diets that eliminate these tiny little variables like keto eliminating all the carbohydrates in life and living in this low fat life where you just, you're so paleo or you're, you're so carnivore that you just can't sustain anything that is a social event without totally breaking your, your diet. And you realize none of it works. You must be broken since nothing works. And the truth is we're asking the wrong questions. We're not looking at fat loss and sustainability from the macro level. And the more times that you fought, try to plug holes with unsustainable solutions and then experience failure because we do not have a long-term sustainable plan, you end up practicing failure. Now you have a relationship with failure and failure sucks. Failure is that feeling that you have every time you walk or you wake up and you look in the mirror and you go, man, I really gotta lose this 10 pounds. Man, this sucks. And you grab a chunk of fat on your, on your stomach and you feel like crap. That's what failure, failure, failure feels like. It sucks. You don't enjoy it. You just look at it, this nagging problem that continually shows up in your life. It beats you down. You know you need to do something about it. You've tried many, many times. You never see success and you immediately start thinking, I'm the problem. I'm broken. Nothing works for me. At the Diesel Dad, our focus is to get busy dads, strong, lean, and athletic without sacrificing family, fatherhood, or fitness. We do that to the 3M solution, which optimizes your metabolism, teaches you macronutrients, personalized to your body type and your lifestyle, and we help you build metabolically expensive muscle so that not only are you burning fat, but you're building muscle and building a strong, lean, and athletic body you're proud of. We say those things a lot because the more we say them, the more you become in touch with them, the more you have an emotional response to the result that you want. Now, how do we practice winning? It's super simple. In fact, it starts with us identifying with winning. It starts with little wins. It starts with building sustainable solutions. And all of those come down to behavioral changes. See, the fear of failure sucks. If you've tried 20 different things and none of them seem to work, why would number 21 work? Why would you watch the rest of this video thinking I'm just some hack that's telling you to lose weight just like the previous 20 people? Well, the difference is, is that I'm a dad. I get it. I fully understand how complex this situation can be when you are managing the expectations of external stimulus. When I say external stimulus, I mean friends, family, birthday parties, the fact that everybody wants to go outside on a summer night and have a couple beers. All of those things are going to come at you in life unless we reshape the identity of who we are and build systems and structures around the behavior patterns of successful people. Somebody that is strong, lean, and athletic, what do they do? Do they say no to their friends all the time? No, they don't, they say yes. Do they immediately not invite themselves or call out sick or say they're busy or say they, the kids are, are busy and they can't come over when there's a carbohydrate showing up at the cookout? No. Do you miss your kid's birthdays because you all of a sudden just can't have cake and it's too cumbersome? No. Are you tracking every tiny sip of water that goes in hoping that if you drink enough water, all of a sudden you won't have a, a hunger response because you have enough water and you're not hungry anymore. You're just not gonna eat, no. Are you intermittent fasting and if somebody offers you cream in your coffee, are you gonna freak out because you're no, you, you broke your fast? No. The point is, is that winners, the idea of winning, the idea of long-term sustainable fat loss to build a strong, lean, and athletic body that you are proud of is very important. It's important to understand that the, the solution that you find to fat loss has to fit a lifestyle. And what that comes down to is creating an identity, finding out who you are six months down the road, 12 months down the road, 
What are the systems? What are the habits? Who are the people that you're surrounding yourself? And how do you wake up, organize your day so that the world's not coming at you, but you play offense at all times? You see, the idea that we're defending ourselves, like, oh, I don't want to, don't bring the carbs around me. Oh, don't bring any food around me. I'm on intermittent fasting and it's four hours before my feeding window. All of these things we're just defending and trying to block away from all the people and stressors and things that we can't handle. The truth is I want you to be on the offense. I want you to take your vibe to life. Say, this is how I live and everybody around me is going to have to buy in. That is the leadership role. If you don't like the food that's served at your dinner, learn how to cook. Now you're the person in charge of who makes dinner. If you don't like the food, if you don't like the energy, if you don't like the conversation, if you don't like the vibe that you are putting out, that your family's putting out, the conversation around health and nutrition in your household, if you do not like it, it's your job to be on the offense and change it. And the only way to do that is to stop being scared and playing defense, being afraid to fail. You have to put yourself out there. You have to understand these core components of your metabolism, macronutrients and muscle. You have to fight to find time to get to the gym. You have to fight to find ways to optimize your metabolism by moving throughout the day. You have to find ways to be able to create meals that, are mac that fit your macronutrients so that you have enough energy to sustain a healthy day with enough energy and to build muscle, repair your tissues and feel good. You see, all of these pieces are about playing offense. Every diet you have done before, every nutrition protocol you've done before, it immediately puts you on the defense. Be afraid of carbs. Be afraid of non-meat. Be afraid of eating before your food window. Stop playing defense. The fear of failure puts you in a defensive mode in which you are scared of doing things. Play offense. Be on the offensive all the time. This is what you do. This is what you're going to do. You're willing to fight for the time, the space, and the energy to get the things done that you need to build a strong, lean, and athletic body without sacrificing your family, fatherhood, or fitness. You do that through optimizing your metabolism, having movement throughout the day so that you're consistently burning calories and feeling good. You're feeling revved up. You're bringing energy to life. You are taking the offensive pattern in life to be strong, lean, and athletic. You understand macronutrients and you know how to fuel your body so that you have the energy to be on the offense. You also find ways and you fight for that time in order to make it to the gym. You only need 20 minutes. You only need a little bit of weight, but you have to go check in. You have to go find ways to get into the gym to build muscle. Those three core components put you on the offense. This is the way you live. Your metabolism is optimized because you move throughout the day. You eat well, you understand macronutrients, you understand what your body needs, and you do it. And if you don't like where you're at right now, it's not worth playing defense and trying to deflect things away from you because you're scared of them. The most important thing is to understand what you need, what the people around you need, and how you can optimize that, that environment to make it what you need it to be so everybody reaches their goals. And you need to learn how to build muscle. You need to fight for your time in the gym. You need to fight for the space to be able to get 20 minutes to go to the gym and have a place to go build muscle so that your body knows that there's a stress and an environment that it has to respond to. It needs to repair old tissues by eliminating them and building stronger new tissues in the form of muscle. It needs to understand that holding on to that muscle is going to be metabolically expensive and it needs to maintain that because the environment that you live in demands you be strong, lean, and athletic. These are the core components. Living in a fearful state, playing defense, makes you scared to take the next step. Instead of taking the proactive approach, instead of playing offense at all times, the path to success is not through fear. You have to play offense. My name is Anders Varner. This is episode eight the Diesel Dad. We have a free Facebook group of hundreds of busy dads that want to be strong, lean, and athletic that are taking it to life. They're bringing offense to their lives. 
They live a strong, lean, and athletic life without sacrificing family, fatherhood, or fitness. They optimize their metabolism, they understand macronutrients, and they build muscle so that they can live their life in the arena, not on the sidelines. I want you to join us. I want you to surround yourself with people that share the same goals as you so that you're not alone in this fight. If you need to lose 10 to 20 pounds, 20 to 30 pounds, it's incredibly important for you to get into this group for us to help you learn how to optimize your metabolism, burn fat, build muscle, and live a strong, lean, and athletic body that you are proud of. We'll see you guys next week.